Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have another excellent show in store for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about some comments that Charles Barkley had to make about the NBA and the current state of affairs of the league. Uh, as you guys know, the NBA is in a very, very interesting, uh, interesting space. They just finalized a $76 billion dollar a uh, new TV deal that also includes some streaming with companies like Amazon. Uh, I think, uh, what's it? because we've covered this story a bunch of times, but I know Amazon is going to be a part of it. Uh, uh, ESPN is going to be a part of it. And some other companies we've covered this. But anyway, they, they found a way to ink a pretty, pretty lucrative deal. And what it looks like now is that every single night in the NBA, they're going to be some nationally televised games, right? That's how they set it all up. So the NBA is definitely moving towards making more money. They definitely found a way to trip 3x their money from their previous deal, which were they were coming off of a $25 billion deal. Now they're heading off into a $76 billion deal with the network. So the NBA is definitely doing well. And based on the way, based on the numbers that they're producing from a financial standpoint, one would think that it's all well and fun, but apparently it's not. Uh, and one of those people uh, is one of the most vocal people in the NBA community. And that person is Charles Barkley. Now, if you know anything about Charles Barkley, he's never someone to bite his tongue about how he feels about a particular issue. Uh, it's one of the reasons he's had some various fallouts with players like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, who was his friend uh, because of his candid views. But Charles is someone that uh, basically operates with the mindset of, look, I'm going to say what I think and I'm going to say uh, and I'm not going to sit up here and lie to the audience for you, because the minute you start doing that, you lose a lot of credibility. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people in sports media that have no credibility. They're on TV for sure. They're making the big bucks on TV. But the audience out here, most of us feel like they're compromised, that they're not really saying what they think. They're only saying that to get a bag. Right. Charles Barkley is one of the few people that's been able to say what he thinks and still make the most money. Who would have figured being honest and being yourself could get you a long way? So what happened was this morning I came across an article from FadeAwayWorld.net where Charles Barkley was essentially blasting the NBA for prioritizing profits over the game and NBA fans. So those are the comments that we really want to focus in on today. Before we even get into what Charles Barkley had to say, today's video is brought to you by a sponsor, Game Time. Game Time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. For example, I am super excited about the upcoming MLB games. With Game Time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal the best option deal or my favorite the flash deal the flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that i can only find on game time once i select the ticket i want i can see view my seat and it's not just restricted to baseball i can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football the nba concerts comedy or other theater shows included in my purchase i also have a 24-hour return guarantee a lowest price guarantee event cancellation protection so take the guesswork out of buying mlb tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code clns for 20 dollars off your first purchase again create an account and redeem code clns for 20 dollars off and remember whenever you support this sponsor you're supporting this channel thank you so let's get into what uh charles barkley had to say here so the article starts off with the headline saying Charles Barkley blasts the NBA for prioritizing money over the fans. Continues on. Charles Barkley didn't hold back on the NBA. While speaking to Tom Friend and the Sports Business Journal, Barkley mentioned he didn't like the league. He didn't like that the league chose to take more money to take the league primarily to streaming services and take it away from cable, thus affecting several fans. But he also noted that these deals are because players and coaches want to earn more money, so he isn't so he isn't surprised. Well, I think that, well, I think that you got greedy players and greedy owners. They really don't care about anything but how to make the most money possible. We should never put money above the regular fan. Everybody can't afford streaming. There's nothing wrong with streaming, but when you start going uh, to the highest bidder, you're not on a regular and, and uh, you're not on regular TV. I think 
you do a disservice to the fans. But in fairness, the players want to make as much money as possible. The owners want to make as much money as possible. But the fans always, the fans always the most important thing. No matter how much money you make, if the people are not watching, it's a lose lose proposition. And then the article goes on to say one one, one of the things that Barkley has always been someone who advocates for the fair treatment of NBA fans. And he believes that fans are the biggest lifeblood of the NBA. Barkley himself faces. Uh, a great concern thanks to the NBA's media uh, negotiations as his Inside the NBA show is set to go off the air with uh, Warner Brothers Discovery losing the rights uh, to, to, to his other partners. So you heard what Charles Barkley had to say there. Now, here's what's interesting about what Charles had to say. I believe in NBA circles, what he just said is controversial. I know it's crazy, but it, it is. In NBA circles, what Charles Barkley just said is almost taboo. It is. In NBA circles, they'd be like, wait, wait. So hold on. Hold on a second, Chuck. You want me to do what? You want us to take a little bit less money to prioritize the fans? Is he serious? Ha 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 ha. Everybody starts laughing. Right? The fact of the matter is the fans with every passing year are becoming an afterthought. Not just by the NBA, but also by the players. Where is this best exhibited? Go look at the All-Star games. Go look at the last two All-Star games. When you watch those games, did you get any impression whatsoever that those fans actually gave a damn? I mean, those players actually gave a damn about it. Like, let's just be honest. Do they even care to perform? Of course they don't. But what they do know is that fans will still tune in. They'll still buy the jerseys. They'll still go to the games. They know that about y'all asses. They know that, right? They seldom take fans into consideration whenever they're making these decisions. And to me, it's 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 an incredible business model where you 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 put absolutely zero value on your customers and somehow you make more money. As I said before at the beginning of the show, they found a way to 3x their revenue, which is incredible. How the hell do you even do that? It's like you own a restaurant and you're like, you know what, man? I know we used to care about service and all of that, but let's just serve them there for we even to say thank you, welcome, welcome to the store, nothing like that. And then somehow, some way, we're gonna get three times the amount of people to walk in every day and patronize our, our, our food. And it works. It's unbelievable. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they were able to pull it off, but damn it, they pulled it off. They absolutely pulled it off. And I don't I see this situation being irreversible. I see this situation being irreversible. I don't see it. I don't see us double back and then finding a way to fix it. I think it's over with. I think it's over with. I think it's the new norm. And I think that NBA fans are just going to have to accept it for what it is. All right. They're going to accept it. They're going to have to accept it for what it is because these people want to make money. Now, is there anything we're making? Is there anything wrong with making money? Absolutely not. I believe in everybody should make their money. Go make your money. But at a certain point when your customers begin to suffer or when you start taking into account some of their complaints, then you have an issue right you have a serious issue but for now based on how i see things i don't see any change inside there's not going to be any change the nba i think after this next deal is going to be for 10 years 76 billion the next deal is probably going to be some astronomical number and that's just that that is just going to be the way that it's going to be um and people are just going to have to deal with it and if you feel any type of way about it tough right tough um but I just think that's what it's going to be. But anyway, I do appreciate what Charles Barkley had to say. I think a lot of NBA fans would appreciate what he had to, has to say. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the analysis we put forward today? What do you think about what Charles Barkley had to say there? Do you think he's on point or he's uh, you know off base? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.